Kia ora everyone, welcome back to another Win The Day golf video. Episode number six of playing every golf course in New Zealand. Today we're here at Waitakere Golf Course on the west coast of New Zealand, up in the Waitakere Ranges. Really hilly course, but amazingly scenic and beautiful. First hole here at Waitakere. The hole is somewhere way down that hill. Blind tee shot, real epic views though. How good. Got Dylan here, we're gonna do a match play today. Uh, should be good fun. Because all you can see is bush here. The first tee shot was actually quite daunting, so I just took an iron and tried to hit something down there. And I thought it had gone too far right, yeah. but luckily it held up. I think it might be all right. Dylan was a bit braver and went for the driver. Yeah, it should. And managed to hit a good one. You smoked that. We had a car today and look at this amazing view as we just came over the bridge there. That's a beautifully mown fairway there guys. So this got me pumped to play the rest of the game. Not that I wasn't already. You'll see a little graphic pop up here on the right side. It shows which clubs I hit and an uh, overview of the yeah. hole. Let me know what you think of this compared to what I was doing in the other videos. Short, right. Cheers guys. Nice shot. Should be good. Yeah, middle of the green. Got unlucky there lads, down here on the right. Bounce just short right and bounce down that hill. Dill's got a good one in the middle of the green. Super happy with this flop shot and good look to get up and down the par. Good part. Yeah, I'll give you that one for par. So Dylan going one up takes honours and hits this Perla of a drive. Yeah, it's so big. I think it's fine. Chart. And that's a good sign for me and hopefully I can take off with how I drove at Miraway. Just a nice little path here up into the fairway. Really good condition and just nice beautiful greenery everywhere. Nice cart pass too. Fairway's looking freshly mowing today, boys. Hopefully in for a good round. Come back. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I turned it, and I popped it. And I did everything bad. But it's in play. Set. Oh, do. Oh. Yep. Oh, no. Good putt. So, with the pressure off here on the second hole, I just cozy up one here nice and close and tap in for a bogey in the win. So, we go back to all square. How's this one for a tracer? Oh, should be, it should be fine. Yeah, good shot in the fairway. Couldn't believe how lucky I got here with this big window of opportunity. And luckily I convert. Oh no, come join me. Hey, you're up there. You'll have a shot. Oh, it's not cutting. It'll be up there. Yeah. Too high. Same with you. Short. I think on this one, I was just distracted by the scenery. Good shot. Release down to the hole. Wow. Oh. Just stay there. Good shot. Again, I leave putts like this all day long. 
No, no. I'll give you that one. I'll give it to you. Not a great start here from Dylan and I, but got a nice, beautiful looking par three coming up. Look how nice these fairways are at Waitakere. Feeling good over this tee shot, but unfortunately pulled it left. It's a bit long. Long? <laughs> you smoked that. Oh, like one meter short of me and it lands on the green. I had a really rough lie here, but I just wanted to get something up on the green and avoid the false front. It's a good part. Oh, just a bit short. Got it. Oh. Oh. Sorry guys for the bad golf, bogey golf so far. I'm gonna pick it up here. Par five straight up the hill. It's gonna be some gorgeous views up there by the looks of it. Let's go. I think I need to give myself a pick talk before every shot. Because this one worked out well. Oh, that's such a bomb. I don't think you can hit it much straighter. Oh, it's going short, bro. That's a good drive. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Great shot. Should just be a little wedge on the green. Unfortunately, I'm just struggling to string two good shots together. Do you know if it's reds up there? Is it red stakes? Probably. Cool. Couldn't find my ball. Found a few other ones. Hey, wedge it up. Thankfully, didn't feel too bad after losing that ball because I managed to find six really good ones. Oh, it's on there. It's a bit short. Unfortunately, Dylan's ball is in the drain here, so I'm just going to let him drop out here somewhere up to the pin there. Thought I had it right on line here, but it just broke a little bit at the end and had a tricky little slider for bogey. Another bogey. Oh, how'd that break that way? I'll give you that one. Yeah, half on a bogey. Let's go. <laughs> Over to the six hole. Going out there, I think, dope. Yeah. So normally, you play that green down there, but today, we gotta shoot through this gap to that one there. Is that it? Oh, it's over. Over the back. Damn, with a 58. Dang. I actually get pretty lucky here. You can see I hit it really fat if it was off the grass, but luckily it was on the mat. Oh, that's, it. that's on the front edge, I think. As you can see, just really beautiful bush here at Waitakere, and the paths are pretty cool that go through them. Shot. Good shot. That's good. That is the worst 
five of the day. Really annoyed at myself, as you can see here. Just so unfortunate. This is a really reachable par five. So just annoyed as after hitting a couple good tries before. Oh, it's so far. You have a pitching wedge into a par five. Over the road. I won't let the shot to be there. Nice. And here's a shot I thought I'd try to do for the YouTube, but I've never really practiced and I just hit it so fat and it just popped out into a, a place that wasn't really much better. So I tried to hook a five iron round, didn't really get it up, but luckily it got through these trees here. And then tried to knock a pitching wedge on. Dylan's just drive gone a good 300 metres, oh, probably, right. and then he only had a pitching wedge in. Or maybe it was a gap wedge and he actually went long. Here I'm chipping on for five, so just trying to get it in or get up and down for bogey. How's that in a little bit of a bad mental state there myself, so need to work on that next games. Yeah, great shot, Dill. Yeah, Dylan just made a really good chip there and he's going to have a tap in for bird. Whereas I miss my bogey putt and my double bogey putt, so triple for me. Ah, oh, you just tap it in. It's good though. Nice bird. Dylan, back with honest, it's a solid shot here. Oh, it's not drawing. On the green though. Yeah, it's big putt. Same. Ugh. I can't. Ah, positive. Yeah, I'm trying to tell myself to be positive, but it's not really changing. Shot. Go. Oh, there's a line too. Need to hit it. Good putt. Here, yeah, I just rush this and hang it out right. Dylan to win the hole, just oh. misses on the low side and I just feel so bad for him. Oh, he went a bit down into a negative spiral there as you can see and accidentally slices one right off the tee box which is really unlike Dill. But he follows it up with a good one in the fairway. Oh, just my like... goodness. Shot. A bit straight. Unfortunately I was trying to fade this one but did go a bit straight like Dill said and I end up with a pretty bad lie here up in those trees. That looks very good. Ooh. Just short. This was probably one of my better shots of the day. Bit of a miracle one. And as you can tell I'm pretty happy with it. Unfortunately I follow it up with just an average chip shot. Dylan really has to make this to put any pressure on me, but Good shot. unfortunately misses, so he taps in for double bogey. This relieves the pressure off me, and I only have to make two putts to win the hole. Wanted to make one, but left it a bit short in the heart. Yeah, nice. And here is my drive of the day. I don't know the hole that well. I think it could be good. I think it's good. It was a good shot. That's safe. Yeah. Look at that. First time driving this green. Let's go, Eagle Putt. Like, that big tree, eh? Yeah, the big tree, that's exactly where the line is. Uh, you got it. That looks really good. Oh, what a shot. Middle of the green. Nice dope. Here I was really expecting to make an eagle after driving the green. It was a really difficult putt, but I just had high expectations putt. after the round wasn't going my way. Oh, mate. As he 
done it? Has he won the hole? It's good though. On to the next. And there, Dylan just proved. Drive for show, putt for dough. I was pretty happy to stick that tee shot. Pretty close to give myself another good look for a, a birdie. That's perfect. It's just drawing a little bit, but it should be really close. Okay. Dylan, a bit unlucky here, right on line, but spun off the back of the green. Let's watch him get up and down. All up and in. Nah, oh, too much. Good effort. Go. Yeah, good bird. Yeah, good par. Shot. That's good. That could be on the green. That's all over it. Yeah, nice. Nice. That'll curl around nicely on the green. I think that's got a chance. Two of our better drives of the day and we both end up short in this little catchment area. Then again, I follow up a good shot with a terrible yeah. shot. Roll, release. How, how'd you stop that? Still pretty unlucky that his ball stopped on that down slope. And I finally hit a good chip oh, again. It's good. Oi, lips in for the bird. Nice. Let's go. Stay, be good. Oh, kicked out OB. I saw it at the top. Perfect. That's as good as a line you can take. That'd be good. Thanks. Trying to go for the green here. I just fully lean back and try to hit up on it. Terrible shot. Ah, all good. Dylan, however, follows up with a great second shot here oh, onto no, the green. Stop hooking. Oh, it's too big. Is it? I th it sounded like it. Went a bit long there, and this chip shot just stopped dead in the sand oh, there, which was unfortunate. One time. Oh. Yeah, I was getting frustrated after missing so many good opportunities. I'll well, make it for Eagle, come on. Nah. A bit short. Yeah, good birdie. Dills was actually a triple bogey as I forgot he went 2 OB off the tee. But anyways, pretty cool tee box there. Dill hits a good shot onto the green. Oh, it was the right number, just left side of the green. Super pretty sitting here for the tee box off the mat. And unfortunately, I don't do it justice and hit a pretty high spinny wedge short of the green. And I follow it up with a pretty bad chip shot. It was out of some really thick rough, so... Thought it was gonna come out hot, but it stopped pretty quickly. Good effort though. Oh, oh my lip out. Nice. I can't catch a putt today. Or a chip, nothing. Still to win the hole. Yeah, nice. No. Smoked it though. I know. I saw it bounce. Oh, same as you, but shorter. Yeah, I saw it bounce. It'd be all good. Bounce, oh. Here I had a pretty awkward line. Tried to slice a low iron around the trees onto the green. 
But I really didn't think about how far I had and did a way too big of a swing. That looked pretty good. Oh, short. Just decided to record Dill's shot first before looking for mine and the thick stuff. Yeah, a little bit short, but pretty good. We luckily found mine and I somehow had pulled off a miracle shot here around the trees. I was super eager to make this par, would have been a crazy, one of the all-time greatest ones and just burned the rim on the low side. Still happy to take away a bogey though after that horror hole. Uh-oh. Oh, perfect. My voice just broke. <laughs> Good shot. Good. That's great. Yeah, shot, mate. Stayed up. Good hole, both me and Dylan finding the fairway. Really good. Dylan hits a pretty good one here onto the green. Maybe a little bit short. short. And after hitting a good drive, maybe I'll follow up with a good. Right. Nah, no, I can't hit good approaches. Ah, oh, Isaac, mate. No feel. Thankfully, I can rely on my chipping most of the time. Nice. Go, break. Oh, no. And it's not just me having the woes today. Oh, I have a chance. That is so unfair. He'll stink for Dylan, but happy to take the win and continue the match. Finally actually connected pretty good with a wedge and over, thought this one was going to be close, but just spun off the front. Oh, no. Nah, pretty good. Thanks, man. Should be on the green. Yep. Hello. Just taking a moment again to enjoy the beautiful views at Waitakere. And he got it. No! That late, late break. Dang, that's good, obviously. Final hole, all square, looking for a big finish. Yeah. Oh. And I yeah. held my breath as I thought this one was going OB. Should be good. Pretty straight ball. Yeah. That'd be good. Position A. Eh? Yeah, nice. Thankfully, I just held on. And hit an okay shot up towards the green. On the green? Oh, just short. Oh, oh, it's drawing. Might be short too. I think it's. I think the wind's coming into us. Yeah, it's a bit long. Oh, it is. Okay. Felt real confident over this and thought I would hit it really close, but it just checked up a lot. Go in. Oh. Oh. And Dylan unfortunately got one of those fringe booster bounces. And I miss the uh, easy putt. It didn't break. Okay. And Dylan to win the match. Thanks for the game, Isaac. That's fun. No worries, all good. Had to finish the match there at All Square. Thanks for those who stuck through that somewhat bad golf. But really appreciate all the support I've been getting and all the feedback. I really, really appreciate it, and it goes a long way to help me make the best videos.
Here's my review of the overall course. I gave it a 7.2 out of 10. Really awesome fairways. There was great bunkers, actually no bunkers, which made it even better. The greens, they were okay, but I think they had recently had some work done on them. So not sure what they're like when they're running mint. So I gave them 6.5 out of 10. The tee boxes, some of them were a bit uneven, but overall pretty good. And hitting off the mats on a couple holes was a bit interesting. The layout, it's a really cool layout and it's pretty cool that you can drive some greens. I really enjoyed that aspect. So yeah, thanks so much Waitakere Golf Course. It was an awesome experience and I 100% recommend if you're ever in Auckland to go play there. It's a pretty interesting one. Just make sure you have a cart or you're fit enough to walk up and down those big hills. Now it's time to go win the day and play some more golf.